is going to be a good one. That's right. You heard it here first. It's going to be a good one for Free Workout Friday. Welcome. Let's get warmed up. We're going to start today with one minute of alternating swings. Three, two, one. Hit it. That's where you switch hands at the top of every swing. The apex of that should swing should be about chest height. You're swinging it high between your legs, getting contact between your forearm and your groinish area with each pass as it goes back and forward. That arm body contact ensures that you're passing the load of that weight through your legs and not just using your back. This is mostly a leg exercise. If you're doing it, well, shoulders are back at the top of that swing too. Nice loose grip, the handles hanging in your fingertips. We have about 10 more seconds here and then we're gonna move into a figure eight. We're gonna take a wider stance with our feet and you're gonna pass that kettlebell and switch hands behind you it's kind of hard to explain. So watch Nikolai, three, two, one, go. Passing the bell front to the back, around, and then to the opposite leg. So we'll do 30 seconds this direction, and then we'll reverse it. 30 seconds the opposite. So definitely you want to use your whole body, counterbalancing the kettlebell so you're not stiff, you guys. You're working with the bell as if it's an extension of your hand. Getting ready to reverse directions in three, two, one. And now we're going back to front. This is the more awkward way for most people. And if you're feeling clumsy, make sure you're holding the handle in the corner so you're leaving the other corner open to grab it with. I'm Amber, I'll be your coach today. This is Nikolai, he will be your pace setter. We're almost ready to set this bell down and go into squat benders. So three, two, one, set that kettlebell down. We're gonna do a squat and a toe touch. So narrow your stance, get your hips down as low as you can, keeping your heels on your ground if you can. And then you follow it up with a toe touch. So a little bit of straight leg forward bend and continue. Next up is gonna be standing folding stars in five, four, three, two, one. Adjust your feet a little bit wider. Hands up, one hand to the opposite foot. If you can keep your legs straight through this, go for it. If you need to bend them a little bit, that's fine. We're gonna move into butt kicks in three, two, one. Take those heels to the rear. You can walk this or you can run this, but if you're capable of running it, do yourself a favor and just run. Just pick them up, just go, because it's warm up, but let's get going. Fifteen more seconds here, and then we'll drop into those lizard lunge openers. You'll be in a plank position and then take your right foot as close as you can get to the outside of your right hand. Lift your left hand and open your rib cage to the side. Three, two, one, go. Pause the clock here so you can watch one and not lose any time. That's how it goes. All right, join on in. Good, you may not be able to rotate very far, but that is okay. Just do what you can. Don't overdo it. Five, four, three, two, one. Very good. A quick warm up out of the way. We're moving into section one. We've got two hand swings and narrow wide jump squats we're gonna do in a Tabata format. So we'll do 20 seconds of each at a time. That two hand swing, same as with the alternating swing at the top, the forearms come into contact with the body as the bell swings as high as you can between your legs and you're making an arc pathway with this, okay? And then narrow wide jump squats, you go from a narrow squat to a wide, back to narrow, back to wide. So you may end up 
uh, if you can't jump or if you get too tired, you can just step out between the narrow and the wide. That is fine too. Make this work for you, whatever level you are at. All right, getting ready for those two hand swings. In three, two, one, sit your hips down, swing it high between your legs, stand all the way up each rep. So at the top of the swing, your shoulders back. If the, heavy, if the bell is heavy, you're gonna be leaning back against a little bit. So you're counterbalancing the kettlebell weight with your body weight. You don't want that kettlebell pulling you forward is what I'm saying. And time, that's one round down of swings, but we are on our first set of narrow wide jump squats in three, two, one, carry on. Fifteen seconds. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. It is done. Now we have a full round complete. We've got three rounds to go. Back to your two hand swings. If you have multiple weights here, a little bit heavier than your normal working weight is good, but it is section one. Don't go too hard. Three, two, one, go. Letting your legs straighten in the back swing lets the bell get back a little bit farther. And then it'll want to fly up a little bit easier. Three, two, one, and that is time. Narrow wide jump squats in three, two, one, hit it. Great job. Getting those hips down to parallel is excellent. Three, two, one, time. We are halfway through section one already. Third set of two hand swings in five, four, three, two, one, go. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Narrow, wide, jump squats. Three, two, one, and go. Get it, get it, get it, get it for five, four, three, two, one. Nice. Excellent. Final round. Two hand swings in three, two, one. Do it. So your arms are straight as the bell passes under you. So that's the weight bearing phase. But as it flies up and becomes weightless, you can bend your arms and you're gonna change that path so that the bell's flying more vertically. This is a great setup also for the snatches or the high swings that we'll do later. Three, two, one, and time, good. Last set. In five, four, three, two, one, hit it. Good. Ten more seconds. Hang in there for five, four, three, two, one. It is done. Section one is complete. 
We're nice and warm for section two. We're going to do a different time at, format for this one. We're gonna do a minute of each exercise first, then we'll do them for 45 seconds, and then we'll finish them off at a 30 second round. So the exercises are kettlebell burpees. If you have two matching kettlebells, you will use them for this one. You're gonna stand between the kettlebells, pick them up, set them down, jump back or step back, for your push up, jump forward and repeat. So it's a suitcase deadlift and then a plank, push up, come back up. If you have one kettlebell, how you will do it is you will, same thing, but you're just gonna pick up one at a time. So you pick it up, set it down, proceed, both hands go to the floor for your plank and your push up. Jump back forward. Make sure your feet are right next to that kettlebell as you stand it up for the suitcase deadlift. And then halfway through, I'll let you know when halfway through is, and then you'll just uh, turn around so that now it is on your left side instead of your right. Okay? And then, enough talking about that. Squat jacks are your second exercise. Much like the narrow wide jump squats, but we're just going to set our hand down to the floor. It's an easier pace. Try to get your hips down, excellent. Then our final exercise is star pullover. So you're gonna lay on the floor, set your kettlebell behind your head. Usually you do that before you lay down, but that's fine. And then you are going to grab that kettlebell, pull it up, over, sit up and reach for a toe. Bring it back to your chest. Keep your lats in, your elbows, I mean, keep your elbows in. So you're using your lats as you pull it up and over and then to the opposite toe very good so those are our three exercises you've had a very long break those of you at home nikolai's have none that means it's time to go right one minute of kettlebell burpees single or double bells feet right between those kettlebells though so you're pulling up just to the outside of your feet exactly perfect in three two one sit those hips down pick up the bells Excellent, go into your plank, push up, step or jump back forward. Of course, you can do your push ups on your knees if you need to. Great, 45 seconds to go. Standing up nice and tall at the top of every one of those deadlifts, shoulders back, and pushing through your heels as you pick up those kettlebells. 30 seconds, so turn around and use the other side other bell if you're doing singles. Ten more seconds. Three, two, one, and a time. Very good. Moving into those squat jacks in five, four, three, two, one, and go. So we're gonna try to sink our hips a little bit deeper with each one of these than we did during the narrow wide jump squats. And really get down there. The first round, maybe your toes are barely touching the ground. As you really warm up and get into this, you can sit down a little bit lower. So our heart is set here, 30 seconds down, 30 to go. Twenty seconds. Fifteen seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and time. Very good. Now you get to lay down. Got that going for you. Star pullover. In 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Keeping your elbows in tight. Reach behind you. Pull that up over to your chest. Sit up. Push it as far as you can towards your toe and repeat opposite toe each time. The 
farther you get that kettlebell away from you, the heavier it is. So don't worry if you can't straighten your arms at the top of this. Thirty seconds down, thirty to go. Fifteen seconds left. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Good work. So now we're moving on to the 45 second round. Kettlebell burpees, we'll switch at the 22 and a half seconds if you're using one bell. Throwing a little chalk on there. In three, two, one, go. Getting ready to switch sides and switch. Ten more seconds. Forty-five seconds a lot faster than a minute, isn't it? Five, four, three, two, one, done with that. All right, squat jacks are next. Keep it up. If there comes a point where you just can't jump anymore, you can also just do a normal air squat. Three, two, one, go. If you wanna wait, a little extra weight to challenge yourself with the, if you're moving into the uh, air squats, you could hold it goblet style so it's in front of you, or you can rest that kettlebell between your shoulders and grab onto the horn so it's, it's behind you for a back squat. So you have options. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, and time. Great work. Woo, star pullover, laying down, 45 second round. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Twenty seconds. Fifteen. Ten. Five, four, three, two, one. Done with that. Great job. Our final round is a quickie. Just thirty seconds each for good measure. Get ready with those kettlebell push ups. In five, four, three, two, one, go. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, a one. That is time. Nice job. Hey, who wants to do one last round of squat jacks? Here we go. Here's that back squat modifier and hit it. Oh, it's not the back squat modifier. It's the show off modifier. This is the loaded squat jack. 
narrow wide jump squat. 15 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, ooh, last reps, best reps, excellent time. Shoot, makes me want to give you another round. All right, star pullover, final 30 seconds in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, go. Fifteen seconds. Five, four, three, two, one. That is time. Woo! Great work. We've made it to our final section. So what this is, is a race to zero of snatch, starting with 10 reps on each arm. So you do 10 on the left, 10 on the right, then you do nine on the left, nine on the right, all the way down, et cetera, et cetera, until we get to zero. We have five minutes maximum to complete this. And if you're really smoking fast and get finished early, then drop down to the plank and hang out there until everybody's caught up. But it'll probably be right on time or just short of finishing. So if you don't snatch, you can either do a bottoms up snatch if you have a light enough bell to do so, where that same high swing, but you're gonna finish it off with the bottom of the kettlebell facing the ceiling or you can just do a high swing like a so so either way great exercises just without the tricky insertion all right if you have chalk and you need it hopefully you've gotten it now if you need a sip of your purple drink or other uh, pre-workout or just good old water you can do that enough rest right are you ready all right, I'll let you know as we go. Make sure you're counting for yourself. 10 reps, nine reps, etc. In three, two, one, go. One minute down. Three thirty left. Three minutes left.
Two and a half minutes. Two minutes. Ninety seconds. One minute left. Thirty seconds. Twenty seconds left. Five, four, three, two, one, and time. Excellent job. Woo! Great work, everybody. Let's get a quick cool down before we say goodbye. All right, we are going to do a forward bend. You can do it from the floor or standing either way. Let's finish with our head as close to our toes as we can get it. If we're standing, we're gonna reach up Drop your chin to your chest, slowly fold in half one vertebra at a time until you get to hanging. Ever so carefully, if you can make your way to the floor now, Next up, we are going to do a figure four. So what you're gonna do is pick up your right foot, put it in front of your right knee, grab behind that right knee, your shin, pull it in tight, and wrist. And switch sides. All right, let's turn it on over for scorpions. So you're gonna lay on your tummy, your arms are out to a T, pick up your right heel, cross your body, try to get that foot close to your left hand, let's say. And back to the middle and switch sides.
and back to the middle for Cobra. So we're going to rest on your forearms and lift your chest up or press all the way up onto your palms of your hands. Your arms are straight. Let that spine hang off your shoulders. Let it go. And let's push back into child's pose. Hips over the heels. Walk your palms forward in front of you until you hear the, feel that great stretch through your lats. Drop your hips down. Let it go. All right, thank you so much. Can't wait to see you tomorrow. If you like and want more of this great stuff, don't forget to like and subscribe. Smash that notifications button. Bye. Woohoo!